Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we have a two, two minute, hopefully two minutes, probably gonna be longer, but two minute book review of Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. So getting started, if you watched my November wrap up, then you really already heard me talk about this book. I was gushing. I love it. 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 But uh, let me get into that. Let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get started. So Get a Life Chloe Brown follows Chloe Brown, who had a near death experience, found, saw her life flash before her eyes and felt like she hadn't done much. Granted, Chloe Brown does have um, invisible, what we like to say, invisible disability. She has chronic pain and fibromyalgia, which causes her to have a lot of pain constantly all the time that she is on medications for. But because of that, it does make her life challenging and makes certain daily functions that we all take for granted for those of us who are not disabled um, a lot more challenging than for others um with that with that she made a list because she's a mastermind of lists she made a list of seven things that she wanted to do um in order to make herself feel like she is getting a life so to speak um and one of those things was to move out of her parents home and leave her parents and her grandmother and go get her own apartment even away from her sisters so at her new apartment, the superintendent, maintenance guy, whomever, name is Red. And Red and Chloe automatically have a disdain for each other and hate each other. Um, Red doesn't like her because he he believes that she is just bougie and spoiled and entitled and rich because she always has these pain expressions on her face and like the world is just awful. Meanwhile, Chloe doesn't Chloe doesn't like him mainly because he makes her feel things and she's gotten so used to knocking down her feelings that um that she doesn't like all of a sudden feeling things um through some events in the apartment complex they find a way to talk to each other for a little bit after Chloe plays hero for a cat um they find a way to talk to each other for a bit and make a plan, devise a plan to help each other out with their respective lives. Red's gonna help Chloe with her get a life list, which include things like camping, hiking, going around the world, things like that that she would not normally do due to her chronic illness. And Chloe, who is a total graphic designer and geeky and all that kind of great, wonderful little internet realm stuff, agreed to help Red with his website and to help build his brand back up because Red is an amazing artist and has not been producing or showing art um, for a long time after trouble in his past. Um, as so you can imagine, things start to get a little close. They start to feel some feelings and learn more about each other and it tumbles down from there. Oh my god guys, this book is so good. I love this book so much, like so much. like so much it just made me feel so many things um i was happy i was sad i laughed i cried i was frustrated um but just so many good things i saw a lot of myself in chloe um i do not have chronic pain or fibromyalgia or any sort of um invisible disability but I found a lot of myself in Chloe in the aspect of trying to push out of my comfort zone and pushing into new things and needing to do that. Um, and because of that, I saw a lot of myself. And then in their relationship, I saw a lot of myself in in Red and Chloe's relationship as I do with me and Eric. Um, a lot of you know I am in an interracial relationship. Also with a blonde haired, ginger haired freak um, whom I love, who is the almost the complete and total opposite of me in a lot more ways than skin tone. Um, but because of that, we, which these two are opposites, um, but because of that, we, we click so well and we push each other to try new things in each other's realm. And I spent most of the day that I was reading this, I had a lot of downtime that day at work. Um, so I ended up did finishing this in one day and I spent most of my day 
like reading this like when I came up on a quote literally taking a picture and sending it to Eric and being like this is the kind of love I need this is the kind of love I want you're so close you're so close love me <laughs> and he's like I don't know what you're talking about India like go to work <laughs> and so um but I love this book it just it made me so happy guys I I can't you know and then just like replace the cat with like a puppy and then you got Barrett and then you have like my little happy home and I love it guys I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop anyway pick it up definitely pick it up um I don't care where you pick it up I will put links to it all down below I think book of the month is having a sale currently in this holiday season um so you could pick it up for cheap on book of the month um i will also link it to amazon and all that kind of good stuff down below um but anyway that is it for me i love this book pick it up go read it go read it go read it go read it um <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on all the social media so you could have seen me gushing about this book already and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything and until next time keep turning the pages Thank <laughs> you.